dear children most importantly we must understand what exactly a node so to understand about the node let us uh, just recall the definition of orbital when we consider orbital we say that it's a region around the nucleus where the probability of finding electron is maximum that means in that particular region the probability of finding electron will be maximum so that's known as, uh, known as orbital exactly opposite of orbital will be node what do you mean by node node is a region around the atom where the probability of finding electron will be zero in that region you cannot find the electron what is the condition for uh, node the condition for node is the value of psi square psi is a wave function as i mentioned earlier it can it can have values like zero positive or negative psi square if psi square value is equal to zero that indicates that it's a node when psi square is equal to zero that means you cannot find the electron in that particular region there are two types of nodes one is the radial node the other one is angular node or planar node so what's the other name for radial node a radial node is also known as a spherical node spherical node now if you consider a radial node so radial node means let us take a diagram quick diagram here yeah so this is the diagram i which i want to speak of so this is a representation of a radial node so when i say radial node there is a radius we are th thinking of a spherical surface so this is a nucleus this is a nucleus and this is a size of what 3s orbital so you have 1s 2s and 3s as the principal quantum number increases the size also increases therefore the size order will be equal to 3s greater than 2s then you have 1s now if you consider 1s orbital so this is a nucleus from this distance around the uh, nucleus so everywhere you can find the electron therefore here uh, in case of 1s orbital the probability of finding electron is equal in all distance here in all distance if you consider 1s orbital so you can see this white color thing right so this is a nucleus and this is a maximum distance now in this particular region so here i am representing in this particular region around the nucleus when i say around the nucleus at a certain radius from the nucleus where the probability of finding electron will be zero that's known as node therefore for 2s orbital there is only one node or only one region where the probability of finding electron will be zero similarly if you consider uh, the 3s orbital you can look at here there is one region here at a certain distance from the nucleus where the probability of finding electron is zero again after certain distance there is a probability after that again there is a probability of finding electron will be zero so if this region represents the probability of finding electron is zero therefore when uh, for a 3s orbital there are two nodes are there for 2s orbital there is only one node for 1s there is no node again you can uh, see this diagram also so 1s 2s see whatever this color which is represented here this represents the node similarly for 3s orbital here there is a node again here also there is a node so what do you mean by a radial uh, all these are examples for radial node now what's the meaning of radial node look at this definition now a radial node or a spherical node is nothing but which surface we are talking about a spherical surface at certain distance from the nucleus at certain distance from the nucleus this is a distance where distance from the nucleus within the orbital itself on which the probability of finding electron is zero and the certain distance you can see that the probability of finding electron will be zero now how do you calculate the number of radial nodes number of radial node can be calculated as 
n minus l minus 1. L, n is a principal quantum number. L is azimuthal quantum number minus 1. So they have calculated for 1s, 2s and 3s. So likewise, you can calculate a radial node for each and every orbital. Similarly, we have something known as angular or planar node. See the name itself indicates it's a plane. It's a plane. It's a plane passing through, passing through the nucleus on which the probability of finding electron will be zero. It's a plane passing through the nucleus where the probability of finding electron is zero. The number of nodal planes, how do you calculate it? Equal to L. What is L? L stands, L stands for azimuthal quantum number. Therefore, for a given uh, orbital, you can have two types of node. It, it is radial node and angular node. How do you calculate the radial node? N minus L minus 1. Then planar node or the angular node will be L. If you add both of them, the total number of nodes will be equal to N minus 1. So to have the clarity on what exactly this uh, planar node. So this is a diagram I would like to show you. Look at this. This is a Px orbital. When I say Px orbital, the two lobes are along the x-axis. When I say two lobes are along x-axis, these two lobes touches this point. And when you place an imaginary plane here, this is a plane which we are talking about. This is yz plane. The lobes are along x-axis. Therefore, the yz plane becomes the node. So, that's also known as the planar node. Similarly, if I consider Py, the two lobes are along y-axis. Therefore, if I place an imaginary plane, that is xz plane, that becomes the node. Similarly, if you consider Pz orbital, so the xy plane becomes the node. Therefore, planar node means it's an imaginary plane where the probability of finding electron is zero. Similarly, when we consider radial node, radial node is nothing but it's certain distance from the nucleus uh, where the it is a region around the nucleus uh, where the probability of finding electron is zero. And the total number of nodes will be equal to n minus 1. So, radial node is this much and angular node is L itself.